A well-planned and maintained infrastructure system is critical to a successful economy. And this year Toowoomba Regional Council invested $143 million to deliver a safe and sustainable transport and drainage network to support our growing community. Getting people to work, school and sport safely was a key focus, with Council investing close to $74 million on upgrading and maintaining our 6,578 kilometre network of sealed and unsealed roads. Toowoomba now has 569 kilometres of footpaths and cycleways and we know that on average every dollar we invest in cycling infrastructure will return nearly $5 in economic benefit with improved health outcomes, reduced traffic congestion and lower transport costs. This year Council invested in the health of our region with the construction of the City Golf Club Cycle Pathway, a three metre wide path designed for shared use by cyclists and pedestrians. Jointly funded by Council and the State Government Cycle Network Local Government Grants Program, the project completed a missing link along the West Creek Corridor. Parking occupancy rates remain strong in the Toowoomba CBD, with eastern and central car parks at or near capacity and a high turnover of parking in Ruthven and Margaret Streets. A Toowoomba CBD parking survey measured perceptions of parking availability, effectiveness and cost with more than 1,200 shoppers and workers and business owners in the city heart. Survey information was then used along with car park usage rates to predict future parking demand in the CBD. The Toowoomba bus station parking payment system was upgraded to allow customers faster and more effective uses of payment at the boom gate. Aerodrome operational plans were completed for Toowoomba, Pittsworth and Milmerran. LifeLight's new state-of-the-art Augusta Westland 139 helicopters are now stationed at and operating from Toowoomba City Aerodrome with temporary accommodation to support the LifeLight base redevelopment managed well. As portfolio leader of infrastructure services, with the support and leadership of Deputy Mayor and Chair Carol Taylor, I'm very proud of what we've achieved this year. Our region is growing, but the community can be confident that we are planning and investing in vital infrastructure now so we can sustain our enviable lifestyle as our region grows.